all right today we're gonna to go ahead and take a look at uh, the prologue demo for metaphor re fantasio and it's available on steam if you'd like to play it yourself um, let's go ahead and jump into it it's a rpg anime it's um king was assassinated and i guess we're going to go ahead and fight for the throne so let's go ahead and throw our hat in the game beyond my sight. Whoever you are, please tell me. Does our world pique your interest? Pardon my curiosity, but would you tell me your name? That is to say, tell me who you really are. The one who meets my eyes across a strange threshold. Oh, let's get it. I'm about to throw our homie out here again. Let's go. Your name is indeed yes. Ah, a most unusual name. One I've never heard in our world. Which suggests to me you might reside in a world beyond ours. It is a curious thing that in your eyes, my entire world is but the dawn of a story yet untold. Or to put it another way, this is a fantasy. But can it truly be dismissed as something so far removed from you? If indeed you wish to cross to our world for a time, I would first ask that you indulge one question. Is fantasy limited to the confines of imagination? Would you call it a powerless creation? Uh, no. More than wishful thinking. More than fiction. Something capable of affecting the realities beyond its bounds. This must be what you believe. I confess, my own answer still eludes me. But consider, if fantasy is born from hope, a desire to make the world better than it is, then that hope can be made manifest. Thus does change come, and thus is fantasy forged into a new reality. Perhaps the story about to unfold before you will tell us. I'm thoroughly invested now myself. So, let this tale begin. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start normal. Start on normal difficulty, are you ready? We are ready. Looks like we're in the clear. The capital's just through this desert. Is it true that the king is dead? Aye, and the guards are more concerned with the funeral than keeping the road safe. So now the monsters are roaming in broad daylight. No soldiers to stop them. Monsters, huh? I've certainly been hearing the stories. Uh, to say nothing of the vacant throne. There's a storm coming. Mark my words. That much is certain. What's the problem? They're bandits! Come on, let's see some respect for the militia! Us folk, we're commoners! No crown or church will save us! But Lord Luis will save us one and all. All we ask is a little tribute. You're with us or against us? And if you're against us... Uh, an igniter? Uh, how'd they get rid of those? Come on, come on! Hey, keep it moving! That's right! Look at you. What have we got here? He's an elder. 
So he is. No horns, no knife ears. Filthy gremlin like you. What you got in the capital? <laughs> oh, what's this? Looks like you've been holding out on us, boy. <laughs> Yo, don't take my book, man. Oh, you didn't cut my friend, bro. Should have listened to us, chum. <laughs> You're falling, lie. Let's want to get stuck like us. <sighs> you drew steel. I take it you are prepared to die by it. Stand aside. Bro, kick. No, you did not. Damn. Kick the homie off the damn cliff. They getting they getting crazy out here. Oh, this place already feels like a death trap. You hear all that stuff about Lord Luis saving us? Hey, you okay? You still got all your limbs attached? Well, at least they didn't figure out our mission. Definitely could have gone worse. Are you all right? What's the mission? What mission? Come on. This is no time for jokes. You do know that if anyone finds out who we really are, it's all over, right? The mission's more important than either of our lives. If we screw this up, there's no going back. You're right. We can't let them know. Oh, this game looks good. Boy, it's clean. Think we'll make it? Yeah. Uh. Find a place where we can see the whole area. Why are you stop talking? Basic controls. Use the movement keys to move. Hold shift while moving to dash. Press control to dodge enemy attacks. Uh, okay. Can we use the controller? Let's see. Let's see. Can we go ahead and do this? Hold on. Go back. Hold the right trigger. Yeah, we're going to use the controller. Some actions you can perform and their corresponding controls are displayed at the bottom of the screen. You can also use the mini map to see. You can view the tutorials you've seen before in the main menu. Let's go. All right, we out here. Stop. Wait, I'm sensing something. Watch out. Those look especially dangerous, so watch out. I don't think They've noticed us yet, though. Looks like they have. Face sight. Press the left trigger to use the face sight disability. It lets you see what the Galatia senses in the environment. I think that's how you say it. Uh, when you see an enemy you've never confronted before, it will show up as unknown. Prepare as best you can. Okay. Okay. Let's get that. Strong ones ahead. We gotta be careful. Can we fight it? No, I'm fighting. Watch your health. It's okay. not good. Yo, it's trying to get at me, but we out. I'm sorry. No. Oh, up. we ain't supposed to f hold on. My damn screen going crazy. What is up? Will your tail end here? No. No, we're gonna resume this, but I gotta get my screen right. Okay. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, you turn on the other light, so we good. This will do. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't see. This is what happens. You gotta take every threat. You can't underestimate these people. Let me put this on my other screen over here. Yeah. There we go. Some extra light in here. Dang! I thought we were supposed to fight that thing. Hold on. I'm gonna try to get it one more time. This is the prologue. We might as well try to fight something, right? Let's see. Level. We don't know what it is, but it's got to die. Get ready, everyone. Don't have much help I'm out. I'm out. Right here. I need to. There you go. I didn't use that real quick. 
Is she fighting him too? Sorry. They're too strong for me. Come and get me. Yeah, I'm in and out, sir. I'm right here. Oh no! It's, what is this? Oh, it's a lion. No, sir. I'm out, sir. No. How do we dash in? Yo, this thing will not get away from us. Just get to the higher ground. All right, bro. We out. This thing will not stop. He is not stopping, bro. He is on me. Look. <laughs> we had to run. Just checking, but you do remember what we're here to do, right? Uh, refresh my memory. Right. <laughs> what am I doing again? Oh, I don't know. The mission that's more important than our own lives? First, we get to the Royal Capital and get you enlisted as a guardsman at the Army's Recruitment Center. This could decide the fate of the whole country. We either do our jobs or we die. And if it's all the same to you, I'd rather stay alive. So we've got to see this mission through. Come on. We don't want the sun to go down on us in the wastes. Let's pull ourselves together and get back on the road. You know what they say. Anxiety breeds the world's cruelest monsters. I mean, fairies say that at least. I can at least cast my usual spell for you. It's the small comforts, right? Right. Music was the first magic this world ever knew after all. It makes the road a little easier. All right, she turned the radio on. Look! Over there! What a relief. Grand Tread is already in sight. Let's go. Got a set? All right, so I think the Grand Cathedral over there is big enough to use as a landmark. Yeah, it sure is, but it's all clear. There we go. Bro, we are not getting caught up by these things. No. Looks like they found us. They on us, bro. Let me get over here to this road though. This is bad. Tribes and three nations, all blessed by the power of magic. The United Kingdom of Euchronia. The year is 785. Euchronia is shaken to the core by the sudden death of its king. Anxiety breeds dissent among the tribes. Disparities tear them apart. And no mortal mind remembers the heroic tales upon which their land was built. <laughs> By this story of fantasy, may this faded world be painted anew. O oh, great seeker bearer of fantasy and power. Hear my wish and come forth from my epic of glory to grant something.
Get on with it, then. Drop the dog. Hang him dead. Please! I've done nothing wrong! Lying dog! Don't try to deny it! You trample the law for the fun of it! Let it be known, for misuse of an igniter, you will hang by the neck until dead! <laughs> There's no way that crowd was going to listen to anything a Paribus said. <sighs> Such a shame. Why you spare some coin? <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> oh, careful! Hurry! <laughs> uh, don't you have any street smarts? Come on, kid. <laughs> We're not tourists here. We gotta stay focused. Right. You noticed back on the wagon? You might be the only elder here, in the whole city, even. Capital's incredible. Just look at all the different tribes. You never see this kind of diversity out in the countryside. Not that it's very balanced. I see more Clamars and Roussants than anyone else. Which means a dopey Elda kid's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Try to keep your head down, okay? Hey, did you hear what they're saying about His Majesty? They say it wasn't illness at all. I heard it was foul play, assassination. Shh. Careful who hears you say that. But it's just like the prince, isn't it? They say he was attacked in the dead of night. A war of succession is coming, I tell you. Sounds like monsters have been prowling the countryside. They're sending the guard out to deal with them. The army's really gone to hell. It's a far cry from when we had Count Luis at the helm, I'll tell you that much. Hard to see how the nation can come back from this. We'd not have to ask if the prince was still alive. <sighs> The king dead, his son stricken. Are there none left to bear the weight of the crown? We've done all in our power, but not even the kingdom's best. The saint could purify this affliction. Over ten years he has languished under this curse. How much longer can his body hold out? No doubt his highness would protest. But uh, since he cannot, we have no choice. For the man who cursed his highness and murdered our king, there can be no mercy. I never thought I would have to ask this of you. But there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. All right, so now we know what we're doing. We got to infiltrate the military. So come on. Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard, considering the need for soldiers. So? Feel free to admit that you're lost and ask, for, ask me for advice. It says press the right button to open the local map if you're unsure of what to do, try pressing Y. She always has a good idea, or so she thinks. Press up uh, in safe areas like towns to save your progress. Uh, whatever will I do? Okay, let's see. All right then. We just go straight ahead. Hi. 
an elder? Here? Somebody's blown our cover. Look at that. The new model's out now. I could be out there slinging spells like a master if I had one of those. I guess that's the big city for you. Everyone and their mother has a magic igniter. So many different types, too. It says, now I want one. What's a magic igniter? What's a magic igniter? See? There's a couple in the window. Like an instrument plays a tune, an igniter casts magic. Pretty hard to come by out in the countryside. Can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic. Me? I can whip out magic anytime I like. And I can even see the magla in the air. Though, I'm not exactly an archmage. Wonders never cease. A fairy and an elden child. Are you new to our fair city? Well, I suggest you keep a low profile. Trust me when I say you don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. How much? The Royal Scepter? Uh, the Royal Scepter? You've really never heard of it. Wow. Where do I even start? Uh... A symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here, but there's trouble brewing. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution then. Your survival is your own responsibility. Well, that was unnecessarily ominous. She has a point though. We'll need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. We've got a recruitment office to find. Well, let's get to the office. Let's head there. Of course it's. Alright. Give me the phone, Darcy. Who else can it be? Royal Capital Grand Trad. Region. Uh. Regalis. We'd blend in with the crowd and no one would notice that you're an elder, but the people here have sharper eyes than I thought. Uh, we don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. All right. Easier said than done, I'm sure, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for should be just ahead. All right. Is this it? We found it. That must be the recruitment center. I'll let you take it from here. It should be pretty straightforward. Oh, and if they start asking questions, just be as honest as you can. Lying will only make us more suspicious. So long as you don't compromise the mission, you're fine. Good luck in there. Knock them dead. Okay, you got this. <laughs> A blue blood, are you? The army's no place for velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? 
Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's work. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An uppity one, aren't you? Fine, Lordling. Welcome to the guard, where it'll be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. <sighs> be gone, and be thankful you're still in one piece. All right, next. Hurry it up. Huh, an elder? I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. So, what brings you to enlist? I want to fight for change. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin purse, no? So, what can you bring to our beloved corps? Any skills to speak of? Yes. I can take a lot of punishment. I'm small but quick. I have a sharp mind. I've got a sharp mind. Yes, you and every unschooled troglodyte. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Please enter the name of the story's protagonist. Didn't we already do this? We'll do this again. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're short-handed as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first deployment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Standard issue guardsman armor and nitre. Kingdom property. So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. On your way now. Up to. Next! All right, we, we, we got in. I just guess we've got no choice but to wait our turn. That's how it works. Queue up for provisions. Bro. Whatever. Well, not much choice if you don't have any money or a job. He makes the world go round, as it were. You want a magic igniter? Join the queue. Cutting's only gonna get you chewed out. I'm in the queue, bruh. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? I wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, hum... Next! Another Clamar. Wait. No. You don't look like the others. I'm not Surely like the others. Not. An elder? It's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it. There's a priority around here. We're arming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear. Spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force and crude insults. The world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again, boy? We all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure Rousseau strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, 
No fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? Yeah, thanks. Thanks. You didn't have to do that. Just felt like stepping in. Don't worry about it. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> I think around his neck is apparently something. The captain I spoke with earlier had one too. They must take on many different forms like I saw on the main street. Looks like some... And take this too. Protect it with your life. We got a nice map. Wow, that's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. Listen up, striplings. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security detail, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Pay. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. This rest! Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet. But he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away why we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Um, hey. You awake? Yeah. Yeah, I'm awake. Sorry to bug you. Look, I just... have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still... when you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open... it's a lot. You okay? Yeah, I was built for this. That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? That was, I'd rather not think about it. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, but still, the prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure. Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. You're nosy. Thanks. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born into discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets well traveled. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reads, all lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict, and equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy, but it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? You know how hard it is for me to turn these pages on my own? Ugh. Well, 
Guess I'll just read more later. Good night. Record the events this far. Yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and stop since this is a automatic save point. Uh, this is the metaphor refantasio. The prologue demo is available on Steam if you'd like to check it out. If you did like this content, please hit the like, subscribe, share the video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.